everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Jordan Report and I'm your host, Robert Jordan. Everyone, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, guys, we should all know by now that the country is at war. And it's a very sophisticated form of warfare. But the people who are conducting this warfare are openly admitting to it. They, they are so arrogant and they, and they think we won't catch on. These people are telling us what they're doing. I'm going to show you what Van Jones and Kamala Harris said. And they're pretty high up in the Democratic Party, you should say. Van Jones is not a lightweight. Van Jones is a very, very important strategist for this party. He sits in on all their meetings. He knows where all the bodies buried. He knows what their plans are. So when he says stuff, you know, we can listen to him. And, and he's one of a handful of intelligent black Democrats, I must say that. Most, of, most black Democrats are not intelligent. But anyway, CNN's Van Jones urges Democrats to pause nighttime BLM protests. CNN Van Jones urges Democrats to pause nighttime BLM protests. The, the unrest is helping Trump. This is what he says. I'm going to go into the article real fast and then I'm going to show you a short clip of Kamala. CNN commentator Van Jones warned Democrats that the ongoing focus of the unrest has taken place in the cities across the country will aid President Trump's re-election victory. The 2020 presidential campaign is heightening a focus on the violence that has plagued some cities, particularly following the riots that took place in Kenosha of the swing state Wisconsin. Joe Biden has, more vocal condemn, has been more vocal condemning the violence after the Democrats were criticized for not addressing the growing concerns among voters during the National Democratic Convention. Jones insisted on Wednesday that the subject helps Trump. The longer we talk about violence and unrest and how he's dealing with it or not dealing or not handling it, all advantages Trump. In other words, this campaign is going well for Trump because we are not talking about the economic devastation that people are experiencing or the virus really. And I think it's time for us to recognize we are in a very perilous situation. If you want to see a change in November, the former Obama White House official explained that despite how social movements on both the left and the right have edges of violence, voters can be comfortable with Trump's refusal to challenge police and vigilante violence. The question is, how are Democrats and progressives going to deal with the edges of violence in our movement? I think that Joe can reach can actually get to move his movement in a better direction. We need a national moratorium on nighttime marches. We need a national moratorium on nighttime marches. That would separate the responsible, productive demonstrations that have united the whole world from some of the other demonstrations that are just not as useful. There are things that Joe Biden and other progressives can do that can push down the violence in our movement and then turn it back toward the people who are actually suffering. That's a top Democrat strategist talking, Van Jones. He just told you they're involved in this stuff. Now listen to what Kamala says. She's even more explicit. I'm going to go to the top here. Kamala endorses terror. Everyone be aware. They aren't going to stop. She was on this, uh, uh, the, uh, what's this, Stephen Colbert show. And she, she said that they were responsible and that it wasn't going to stop. I'm going to show you the clip. And then we're going to get out of here. I know that there are protests still happening in yeah. major cities across the United States. I'm just not seeing the reporting on it that I that right, I had that's right. for the first few weeks. That's um, right. But they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop. And that's they're not. This is a movement. I'm telling you, they're not going to stop. And and everyone beware because they're not going to stop. It is going to. They're not going to stop before election day in November, and they're not going to stop after election day. And that should be everyone should take note of that on both levels, that this isn't they're not going to let up and they should not. And we should not. OK, I'm going to play that Claire, for you again. I know that there are protests still happening in yeah. major cities across the United States. I just not seeing the reporting on it that I that right, I had that's right. for the first few weeks. That's um, right. But they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop. And that's they're not. This is a movement. I'm telling you, they're not going to stop. And, and everyone beware. Because they're not going to stop. It is going to. They're not going to stop before election day in November, and they're not going to stop after election day. And that should be. Everyone should take note of that on both levels. That this isn't. They're not going to let up, and they should not. And we should not. Okay, guys. I know that they're. That's the Democrats. So we know who's doing this now, 
Antifa and BLM are just their foot soldiers, people. The Democrats are conducting this war against this country. We should hold them responsible.